Hello guys, going to the DSFR today. Um, I have a list for you guys. Um, I'm um, ranking from alphabetical order of the teams. Um, what the most underrated player on that team is. Um, whether it's like they have a good contract that they're just outperforming so well, or they're just underrated by the NHL, they don't get talked to much, and they really need to be. So, um, first things first. Um, of course, going down alphabetical. Alphabetical order the teams. So I have Ducks first, and then that goes all the way to the Jets. Um, so first, Ducks. Um, still, he is not that recognized. Ricard Raquel, man, he has been amazing for them. One of the reasons they were so good in the playoffs and the regular season was because of him, man. He really carried that team. 33 goals, 18 assists in 71 games. So he missed 10 games. Um, I mean, imagine if he got to more games. He could have probably gotten, probably could have gotten like 36 goals or something like that, um, but he was just amazing, um, he was really fun to watch, man, really fun to watch, um, and his contract is 3.29 million for five more years, that's a lot, but it's worth it for this guy who has shown up, and he's probably worth like 6 million, um, I, I bet a number of teams would pay that for him, uh, or some teams even more, you never know, um, but next up on the list for the Coyotes, I have Tobias Ryder, um, 16 goals, 23 assists, and 80 games. Um, you need those guys that are like good third line wingers that can get you points, but kind of be a good defensive guy. Um, he's more on the point side, but you know, some good, sometimes he can make some good plays. Of course, he's you know, on the Arizona Coyotes, which does stunt his stats, but um, those are still pretty good stats. There's, a, I think it was like 40 point, around 40 points. Um, that's really good for a team. Like, in Arizona, you know, um, <clears throat> it's its contract is 2.23 for one more year, so you got one more year of Ryder and then either RFA. Um, he's probably gonna pay, get paid a little bit, maybe like three or four million. Um, a nice payday for him. Um, next up, we got the Bruins. I have Ryan, Ryan Spooner, um, he's an RFA this offseason. He's going to get paid, and I don't think there's any way the Bruins avoid it besides trading him. Um, 11 goals, 28 assists in 78 games. Um, he, he was an amazing player, man. Um, he, he, I think he was playing fourth line. I can't remember. Um, I think, I think the logical thing would be third, third liner. I didn't pay him too much attention to the ruins this year. Um, but he, he's one, like on a stack team, he is a fantastic fourth liner, man. Um, he's young, so he still has room to grow. Um, you've got upside, man. <clears throat> Um, next up on the list for the Sabres, I have Jake McCabe, um, 1.60 for two more years, three goals, 17 assists, and 76 games. Um, you need that, like, top six defenseman. Um, you know, he gets some points, but you're more on the defensive side, I think. You need those guys that can play a few minutes a game, get you some stand-up plays, make some good defensive plays. Um, you need those depth guys, man. I want to say, because McCabe still has room to grow, he's pretty young, um, but right now he's like a top six defenseman, but a really good one at that. Um, so, next up I have the Flames. I'm Mikel Backlund. He had a breakout year, fantastic year, and he still doesn't get mentioned all that much. He was one of the, he's probably one of the breakout players of this year. Um, he has 22 goals, 31 assists, and 81 games, so that 53 points, that's great, man. That's honestly elite. Well, I'm going to say elite, but it's like, that's like upper tier, you know. Um, he had a fantastic year for the Flames, one of the reasons they got him to the playoffs. Um, he didn't do well in the playoffs, of course, but, um, you know, he was basically a lot of, basically a chunk of their offense right there. Um, he has 3.58 for one more year, so if they can just write out that contract, um, he'll get paid in the next offseason, but... Um, that's a really good contract for now. Um, next up, I have Hurricane, the number six. Elias Lindholm, 11 goals, 34 assists, and 74 games. Yeah, he's he's a great playmaker. He can set up a lot of guys. Um, he really, I feel like he was pretty good um, down the stretch when the Hurricanes were making those runs, winning a lot of games. Um, he probably was one of the main reasons. Um, 2.0 or 2.70 for one more year. I'm pretty sure it'll be an RFA after that, um, but 
but I think that he's going to be an excellent, maybe second liner of the future. Um, of course, on the Hurricanes, he may be a first liner, but for he, he might be a great second liner, third liner for any team, really. Um, he's a good playmaker. I'm not sure about his offensive ability, but we'll see. Um, at 7, I have Richard Ponick, 2.80 for two more years, 22 goals, 22 assists, and 82 games. So, um, first off, Richard Ponick, a fantastic contract for anybody that is in the Blackhawks. Um, <laughs> 2.08 or 8.0 is so important to the Blackhawks. Um, it's like, it's kind of like he's not worth it for them, even though he's putting up all these numbers and being an excellent player for the team. Um, I don't know if it's worth it for them. Uh, I, but I'm, I'm sure everybody, other, every other team in the NHL would love to have that contract. Um, especially for a guy that produces like this. Um, Alright, for eight I have, because this is a hard one, um, of course everybody sucking on the avalanche, um, I had Miko Ransom, um, eight, nine, four K for two more years. 20 goals, 18 assists in 75 games. He had 20 goals in Avalanche this year. For as bad as the Avalanche were, Miko Rantanen was kind of sweeped under the rug as a bad player because he was on that team, you know? Um, I don't know if that's a fair assumption to make. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but he had a great year, man. He's going to be a great player for the future for them. Um, at least on that side. Everything else is not looking good for the Avalanche, but... Um, I think Miko Random will be an excellent, like, second liner, maybe first liner in the future for them. Um, that'll be a very scary first line if they keep the core, the core there, which I think they should. Um, in all honesty, it's their depth that killed them and really killed them hard. They just didn't have any good depth players. Um, I think that was really their downside, especially on defense. Um, Blue Jackets, I have Alex Winberg. He's an RFA this offseason. 13 goals, 46 assists, and 40 games. That's a lot of assists. That is a lot of assists, man. Um, 13 goals, still pretty good goal store. Um, I don't know if he was influenced by the Blue Jacket effect, but um, all I know is he had an excellent season. Um, I, I think he was... Um, I, I think he was praised, but not praised enough. Um... For, I think he was one of the main contributors to the Blue Jackets season, um, and I think that he was one of the reasons that he got to the playoffs, man, and had such a good year, and competed with the Washington Capitals for regular season spot. But <laughs> um, next up, I have ten number stars. I have Radic Foxa, of course. I probably have the most biased, but the most um, the most um, knowledgeable opinion on. Stars Radic Fox uh, than any other team, of course. But Radic Fox was amazing this year. He was fast. He was setting up guys when he needed to. Um, he made a lot of plays. Um, he had he's an RFA. He's gonna get paid. Twelve goals, twenty one assists, eighty games. Um, and this Stars team was struggling for offense. Like um, it was hard to get some points for that team, though. <clears throat> surprisingly, um, well, at least for some stretches, but. Um, I think he's he's a good defensive player as well. He could, he's an excellent two-way forward, in my opinion. Um, he probably, possibly could be um, like a better Eakin, you know, if Eakin goes or whatever. Um, in all honesty, um, for the Red Wings, I have Andres Anacasiu. He's an RFA, 18 goals, 11 assists, and 64 games. So he missed like 20 games there. Um, and if he stayed with it, or if he Got those 20 games, probably would have gotten 20 goals, maybe like 20 assists, who knows, man. Would have had a better year, but I think he still had a pretty decent year for a Red Wings team that wasn't all that great, you know. Um, it, it's impressive for him to do that. Um, again, missing 20 games, but um, he is an RFA as well. Um, so, he's also going to get paid. Um, man, he's going to get paid. Um, the issue is him staying healthy, but I'm sure he can fix that. Um, for the Oilers, I have Oscar Clefbaum, um, 12 goals, 26 assists, and 82 games. He, um, was a great player for them. Um, one of the players that did step up this season, um, he's, he's su still super young, um, but 4.17 for 
for six more years. Either like you can look at it both ways if it's a bad contract or a good one. Um, if he keeps getting better, it will be a good one. But if he keeps this kind of production, I think it will neutralize and be a pretty decent contract. Um, for the Pampers, probably my most underrated player on this list. Um, I was thinking about it last night. I was thinking it was Raquel, but he got a lot of press and praise. Um, not enough, but he did. Um, but but Jonathan Marchessault for the Panthers was easily the most underrated player this season. Um, 30 goals, 21 assists in 75 games. He missed like 7 games. And imagine if he got missed, didn't miss those. He probably got, got a few more goals, a few more assists. And he is 750k for one more year. Like, that is an elite contract, man. Elite. Um... He was fantastic for the Panthers. He was the reason they weren't like a bottom five team, in all honesty. Um, if I just, if, like, he pretty much carried them to a worse um, draft position. <laughs> if that's how you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, he, he was amazing, man. He's still pretty decently young. Um, and he has a bright future, man. He has a super bright future. Um, I remember watching that game where they shut, like, completely destroy the Blackhawks. And he was great in that game. He had a hat trick or like two game, two goals or something like that. He was really impressive, man. Really, really impressive. Um, for the Kings, I got Tanner Pearson. Um, 3.75 for four more years. 24 goals, 20 assists, and 80 games. He's kind of outshadowed by the stars on that team. Uh, like Hopetar, Tyler Toffoli, um, Jeff Carter, Drew Doughty, Jonathan Wick. He's kind of outshadowed, but I think he's a pretty decent like second line. Like fringe third in this line guy, and he can put up numbers, <clears throat> definitely. And on a team that struggled to get any offense, he got 24 goals and 20 assists. I think that was an amazing feat for him. Um, he's going to be a good player for the future for them. Um, I think that I think it was a decent signing in all honesty. Um, they're going to run into cap issues po quite possibly, but um, I think it it's a worth it, he's worth keeping. Um, for the Wild, I have Charlie Coyle. Um, 18 goals, 38 assists in 28 games. He was one of the reasons they were so good. Um, having a, like a third line center or like a, yeah, third line or second line center like that to put up points like that and pretty be pretty reliable defensively um, is pretty important for a team like the Wild. Um, I want to say they specialize in defense, but I think, think it's one of their strengths. Um, I don't know how ending, but um, Charlie Cole is one of those guys that just gets kind of Sweeped under the rug for people like Parise, um, Koivu, Niederreiter, people like that. Um, I think he's a solid player. 3.20 for two, no, three more years. That's an amazing contract, however you look at it. Fantastic contract. Um, for the Canadians, I have Terry Lekkonen, um, 839k for two more years. That is a great contract. He is a major contributor to that team. A fantastic depth guy. Um, 18 goals, 10 assists in 73 games. It was quite a few games, probably when I got him 20 goals if he didn't miss those games, but um, he was a very solid depth guy. You need those guys on the fourth or third line, man, for a contender like Montreal. Um, it didn't work out for them, but you need still need those guys. Um, he, um, yeah, he's just an amazing player. Um, I'm a big, big fan of him. Um, he is pretty underrated in my eyes. He doesn't get recognized enough. Um, for the Predators, I have UC Soros. 692k for one more year. 2.35 goals against average. 0.923 save percentage in 21 games. Um, <clears throat> he was amazing for the Predators. Um, when they needed a solid start from him, when Pedro Rennie was tired, when he was chased or something, he would give a solid performance almost every time. Um... As a starts man, it's hard, it's hard to admit that, but <laughs> um, he's an excellent goaltender, and he's pretty young, and he'll probably only get better, you know. Um, for the Devils, I have Pavel Zaka, 8-9, 4K for two more years, 8 goals, 16 assists, and 70 games. Because um, he was a first-round pick, I'm pretty sure. Um, I would say he's underrated, but um, I don't think he was hyped enough on that team, because... He could really bring some offense to that team. Um, and he's only going to get better. Like, this is his rookie season, I'm pretty sure. Um, he's only going to get so much better. Like, 
He's going he's gonna to be an excellent second line player for them. Um, maybe first line if he develops really well. Um, for the Islanders, I brought Nelson 2.50 for one more year. 20 goals, 25 assists in 81 games. Um, he was a bright spot for the Islanders this season. Um, very solid year. 25 goals is fantastic. Um, or no, 20 goals. Never mind. Um, 25 assists. Um, but he was an excellent guy for them. Um, again, one of the reasons why they were in a playoff um, race was because of him. He really showed up. And I think he doesn't get enough praise, man. The contract is really good, though. Um, besides all the other Islanders' contracts. <laughs> but, anyways. Uh, for the Rangers, I'm Nick, because... Okay, so... The Rangers was hard, because... Yeah, I was going to pick Ante Ranta. But I thought... He really isn't that underrated. I think he's... I want to say he's overhyped, but I think he's, like, really recognized as an amazing backup right now. Um, I want to say he's underrated. Um, so I have Nick Holen here, 1.65 for one more year. 11 goals, 23 assists in 80 games. Again, you need those play those solid top six guys that can get some offensive spark going while being reliable defensively. Um, just need those guys for championship team. Of course, the Rangers didn't go all the way. But it was definitely um, a good year for Nick Holden, and, and hopefully he expands on that. For the, for the centers, I have Ryan Dezingle. RFA, he's going to get paid 14 goals, 18 assists, and 81 games. Again, he's probably a, like probably one of the best four flanders in the game, if not one of the best. Um, just because he gets depth points, he, depth points. Um, he he's I wouldn't say he's reliable defensively, but he can hold his own weight defensively. Um, and I think he can make some excellent plays in the offensive zone. Um, and he, he's pretty... Um, I would say that, like, he's, he's kind of more of a playmaker, but he can also be a sniper if you want him to. He can change up that style. Um, he's kind of a mixture of both, but, um, for the Flyers, again, this is one of the hardest ones to figure out. Um, I have Michael Delzano. Um, I think he's kind of underrated defensively, um, and offensively. Um, he's a UFA. He had six goals. 12 assists in 51 games. He missed like 30, so he probably would have gotten like, um, probably would have gotten like 30 points, maybe. Um, but I think he is underrated in this the aspect of people think he's a lot less good defensively. I think he's pretty decent defensively, but that's just my opinion. He probably won't get re signed by the, um, by the Flyers, but you never know. Um, for the Penguins, I have Matt Colin. He's 40 years old. Um, he has a UFA, 13 goals, 18 assists, and 72 games. You need that veteran. He's basically the Yager for the Penguins. Except Yager wasn't the Penguins, so... Um, but current day, he's the Yager for the Penguins. He's he's an excellent veteran. He knows what he's doing. And he's probably one of the main contributors getting these young guys ready for the playoffs and why they've gone so far. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that Jake Gensel learned a lot of things from him. Um, and that's helping him definitely so far. Um... Next up, I have Aaron Dell, the Sharks, 625k for one more year, 2.00 goals against, and 0.931 save percentage in 20 games. Um, he, he was an amazing backup for them. One of the best backups in the game last year. Um, you definitely need a guy for that, backing up Jones. Jones is great, but Dell was fantastic um, goalie. He's again, has one more year, so they can wind out that contract. Um... Depending on how good he does lot next year, he could get a pretty good raise. Um, you never know, man. You never know. Um, for the Blues, I have Carter Hutton, 1.13 for one more year. 2.39 goals against 0.913 save percentage in 30 games. He was proud, like when um, Allen was out, um, he was the anchor for that team sometimes. Um, he, he usually just puts up solid performances, nothing really special, but he... Last two goals against, and that'll be it, you know. He's a very consistent, solid goaltender for the Blues, and I think they should hold on to him. Um, for the Lightning, I have Andre Palat. RFA, he's going to get paid. Seven goals, 35 assists, and 75 games. Um, he is an excellent passer, an excellent playmaker. Um, he can get it all done, man. Um, and he's he's going to get paid at least $4 million in my eyes. Maybe three. Um Depends on the, if the Tampa Bay Lightning go for him, but um, if they don't, he goes to 
free agency without that RFA thing. Me, I'm get paid. So if that's if Lightning somehow ha let that happen. Um, for the Maple Leafs, I have Leo Komarov, 2.95 for one more year, 14 goals, 18 assists in 82 games. Um, he is a solid defensive player, very reliable defensively, um, and you can get some points on the board, man. Um, but his bread and butter is the defensive game. Um, he is very solid defensively, man. The defensive awareness with him is very nice. He's a good veteran for that team. Um, but he's only like, he's only in his like early 30s, so, um, but he's still pr really reliable and he's a pretty good player. Um, that contract is really well, goes really well for the Maple Leafs. Um, for the Canucks, I have Marcus Granlund at 900k for one more year. 19 goals, 19, 13 assists in 69 games. Um, he missed quite a few games there. Um, probably would have gotten more stats. Definitely 20 goals, but, um, he is a solid player for the Canucks, a third, great third-line center, maybe second-line center for them. Um, but he's pretty reliable. Um, he can get it done. Um, that's that's what the Canucks need right now. Um, the Capitals, I have Jay Beagle. Again, this is one. Of, this is the heart, fell in the hardest ones here. Um, 1.75 for one more year. 13 goals, 17 assists, and 81 games. Um, Jay Beagle is a fantastic like like depth center for them, fourth line, third line. Whenever you, wherever you need him, he'll probably get it done. Um, <clears throat> he's pretty solid defensively. Um, I think that's why they got him, but um, he can put some offensive numbers on the board. Um, and for last but not least, I have the Jets. Um, Adam Lowry, 1.13 for one more year. 15 goals, 14 assists, and 82 games. Um, fantastic fourth line for them. Um, they got a good one going forward. Um, he's a fantastic center for them. Or whatever, whatever they need him, he'll play great in my opinion. Um, he's one of the underrated players in here. Um, like he gets overshadowed by like that first line and the defense and everything else, but I think he's a really star solid player. So all around, I have 23 forwards, four defensemen, and three goalies. So um, I'd say defensemen are more hyped up in my opinion because they get more attention because. They get called out for every bad play they make, so they're more, um, they get, like, called out more in there, more in the people's eyes, you know, um, they're more easy to complain about, and that's why they get more attention, things like that, or at least that's my theory, um, but, um, looks like we are done here, so, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later, bye.